Hey there, so today we have another review. Uh, this is a beer from Courtesy Bobby from Jester King. This is their Hazy Double IPA, solid uh, Double IPA, 0.5%. Um, there you go. Couldn't find information on the website, but I went untapped. Like the website has like, you know, um, a bunch of their other brands as well, and IPAs, Pale and all that other stuff, but did have this beer specifically, and then untapped generally pulls, or, always pulls their information from uh, the website. So I actually don't know where they found their information. Right, whatever. I believe it's like Citra, Idaho 7, something like that. So uh, Murky Merc all the way. Um, it's got a little bit of color to it, medium gold color. Yeah, light to medium gold color. So it's got a little bit of this kind of peachy kind of um, hue to it. Um, not just straight, like yellow, gold, light color. Slightly off white head, but murky, murky. That's very hazy. <sighs> Smells familiar. Um, the pry beers smell um, like this. It's got this like vanilla sweetness and sweet malt character. I can't even. I don't know if you can smell the chalkiness. But it seems it might be one of those beers. Oh no, I've had beers with this aroma without being the chalkiness. But um, ripe orange mangoes. But it's got this like heft to it. It's. I don't know how to describe it. It's almost like there's marshmallow fluff in the beer. Like the old hazy beers never had this aroma. <laughs> I don't know what it is. These newer hazy beers, like they just come off like almost like creamsicle. That's the best description I'm give. Like it's like orange creamsicle. Yeah, just all day, just orange creamsicle. Like creamy, sweet, with that kind of sweet um, vanilla orange tone. <sighs> Cheers. Pretty familiar IPA. Big sludgy beer. Like. Nondescript sort of hot present. All right, like, yeah, um, a little bit floral, a good amount of floral, um, with a, a good solid amount of grassiness too. Some amount of like green vegetable character to this beer, but not too grassy on the back end. But it's pushing on it. I have it decently chilled, even in the beer fridge. Yeah, a little bit drying, creamy mouthfeel. I mean, this is just what New Age IPA tastes like, um, especially double IPA. High sweetness, high alcohol, high creaminess. Um, and the hops just don't like zing. They end just end up being like flat. Like the beer is a very flabby beer. It's a very flabby beer. There's there's a very to, <laughs> there's no balance to this beer. Um, it tastes like, you know, how do you describe these things? Like, like melted ice cream with citrus fruit and grass added. It's creamy, it's thick, um, it's high alcohol, it has big mouthfeel. There's definitely a solid amount of the polyphenol uh, bite on the back end. Not too much, but a solid amount. Um, maybe a little bit chalky. Yeah, it's a great flight beer, but it's very dry. You see, it's both thick and dry at the same time, right? Because it has that polyphenol kick but then also has a big choo-choo to it. Um, this is actually pretty good for the new age style. Again, completely against my preference because it has like all these like, you know, flabby characteristics and things I don't prefer. But um, if, you're, if you're into new age haze, this got to be in like an A plus in my mind. Like, you know, there, there's beers with so much chalkiness and so much polyphenol character. This is right up your alley. Like it, it actually like does all those things. For me, this is New Age IPA, New Age Hazy IPA, Double IPA, that like just, again, the beer's like, I mean, people love this kind of stuff. Big, rich orange character, ripe mangoes, a um, little bit of passion fruit, sweet pineapple, um, orange creamsicle for days, thick mouthfeel, high alcohol, oh, high alcohol in the, in the, in the mouthfeel, but it doesn't really burn. A little bit nice drying of that kind of a polyphenol attack in the alcohol as well. So it really does a very good job at fighting the worst parts about uh, hazy, new age hazy IPA. Is that what I need to call these days? New age hazy IPA? Because like it used to be old school for me. <laughs> at least how I used to drink, yeah. For me, like, you know, a decade ago it was old school. But a decade is quite a while ago, so it's actually pretty good. It's a nice kind of like cream skull sherbet character to it. Um, this for me 
is definitely like I, yeah if you're about this this has to be one of the best like it doesn't have the flaws to the you know nines or tens the flaws are at like five to sevens right so uh, push that down um it, it's more of a you know their beers like you know i always talk about beers but like ounceage um th this beer is more of a like a flight beer uh eight ounce at most but more of a five ounce, five ounce kind of beer like it actually has impression tastes good but it just like it is not quite balanced in them big chew thick dry so like plays that and then the polyphenol as it warms up it's a little bit too intense so um i gotta be honest with myself i really don't like these new hazy ipas I think it's good, but I'm honestly not going to finish this guy. Um, high impression. Again, I mean, it's hard to rate a beer. Like, despite not being able to finish it, but like, I'm I'm, I'm liking the beer at four ounces. Like, like this amount, the amount I've had so far, I'm cool with. And the can up to about right, right here. That's how much pour. So I, 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 I've drank at least this much. Yeah, yeah. Solid amount. I'm, I'm, I'm cool with it. I like it. Um, I like it for that much. Ninety. Okay. Just King Hazy Double IPA. That's a solid 90. Um, it's high, high impression. It, I give a lot of credit to that, but what can you do with a four-ounce beer, right? Until next time, cheers later.